Hey everyone, <laughs> you're probably wondering why I'm sitting here with all this spray paint in front of me, seeing that I already did a spray paint video, but somebody actually messaged me and actually I've had more than one message. I've had several messages, but um, somebody who messaged right on the channel said that they were looking for spray paint, but um, it's so expensive. Amazon, is there any other place you can get it? And I thought, oh, it's expensive on Amazon? I said, well, Ace Hardware has it, you know, at a reasonable price. I think it's around $7. And she said, great. I never heard from her again, so I hope you ended up getting it because after I went, uh, after I saw that message, I went on the computer and this is what I found from there. So look at 38, 29, 1895, 38, 17, 26, and 37. And I think the yellow and the red are the most popular, but this one, oh, it seems like the orange is real expensive too. They're all expensive. Anyway, so then I went on to, then I went on to Michael's and uh, Michael's, it says $9.99, but they're all out of stock. In-store only, not eligible to ship. But when you go to find a store, um, they don't have it. And the same with green, um, out of stock. Out of stock. And I checked a bunch of places around here and nobody has it. Out of stock and not eligible to ship. So if you could get it, it would only be $9.99. And then at Ace Hardware, it's only $6.99 if you can get it. But nobody has it. Let's see what they have. They might have the purple. I think that's the, actually, that's the only color they did have was purple for $6.99. So in your area, they could have some other color. So you would have to check. But Michael's, Ace Hardware. And then when we went on to eBay, oh, it was even crazier. This is on eBay, $24 to $40, $30. Look at this one's $39. It's just crazy. $49. The blue is $48. Oh, but you get two of them. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, they're very, very expensive. So <laughs> now that you see people are price gouging, it's ridiculous. Um, so I decided, well, maybe I need to find, you know, somewhere else where we can get the spray paint that's not so expensive. And so that's when I started researching and seeing what kind of spray paint you could use on glass. And this isn't just ordinary spray paint because there's spray paint all over the place, every color you could think of. But this is translucent spray paint. So it makes a difference when you're working with resin and glass. It's really nice if it's translucent, it looks um, so much prettier. And so um, I started searching and I found this Tamaya spray paint. And I know you think, well, look at that. <laughs> this is so tiny. How much, you know, can you get out of it? But um, this is so much more concentrated that one of these is equivalent to one of these. So um, I took the red spray paint and I gave one coat on each. So first up is the Krylon stained glass spray paint. And I just go back and forth one time. And then next is the Tamaya spray paint, also the red. They're both transparent spray paints. And this is one coat back and forth. So this is what they looked like after they dried. This is the Tamaya and this is the um, Krylon. And you're thinking, well, maybe you could just um, spray it a little heavier coat. But this is what happens when you put a heavier coat on with the Krylon, it bubbles all up. So you really can't do that. So um, this is so much more concentrated, so it's really worth the price. It's like eight, I think the cheapest you can get it is $8.99. Uh, a couple of them, if you have Amazon accounts and you're on Prime, you know, it's free shipping. So if you can get um, something for $8.99, that's a good deal. But um, if not, I had to buy some of them on a different website. If you just Google this, it'll show you all the places you can get it. But I had to buy a couple of them on a different website and you do have to pay shipping and it's like eight bucks shipping. But if you use it all the time, it's worth it. I use the yellow and the red a lot 
because these colors are very, very difficult to find in glass. Um, you could probably find some in glass, but when you tumble it, the co color comes out. So uh, the red and the yellow are the ones that I use the most. I also like the green, I'll use that a lot. Um, it's a, a real pretty green. And um, some of these I don't use that much, but this blue is gorgeous. I, I lost the top to that one. I forgot how pretty that blue was. So um, the difference, I'll show you up close, the difference in the colors. The main difference besides the concentration is um, the finish. So this is more, the yellows are very similar in color. The, this is more of a gloss finish and this is a matte finish. And the same with the reds, gloss and matte. These two greens, I think, are different. This is more of a true green. This is more of a blue green. The oranges are very similar. I should just bring the camera down to you guys. <laughs> um, and this blue here is more of a um, purpley blue, I think. And this is more of a true blue. And then this royal purple, uh, very much like the cap. I could have probably got it darker. Um, and this is more of a true purple, bright purple. <laughs> and then this pretty blue, I forgot I even had that. That is so pretty. And then with the Tamaya that you can't find in the cry line, there is actually a silver. And these are all translucent. If you put your fingers behind them, you can see it. And when you're working with resin and glass on glass, it's really nice if it's uh, translucent. And then this is a pink, translucent pink. That is really bright. That's a hot pink. And then the other color that they have is called pearl, clear pearl. And I don't know if you can see it here, but um, I did spray it on clear glass, and this is clear glass without it. It's kind of hard to see, but you can see it a little bit. So here is the Tamaya spray paints. I sprayed, uh, sprayed all the translucent colors on each of the little leaves and on the center, and you can see that it works well with resin. It's got resin on top of it, and this is actually the silver translucent, and this is the pearl. So I think they turned out real pretty with the resin on it. Just to show you that it works well with resin. So if you're looking for an alternative to my uh, spray paint, and I'm not, <laughs> I'm not getting paid by them or anything like that, I'm just telling you, just trying to help you out. And the other thing that you can spray with it, um, oh, so, that silver translucent I put over the blue Tamaya. And I don't know if you can see it, but it makes it look real pretty. So this is the blue without the silver on it, and this is with the silver on it. It makes it look really pretty, I think. And I also put it on the uh, yellow, the silver translucent, or on the orange, I'm sorry. That's orange, <laughs> that's yellow. And the other spray paint uh, that I found, they don't have a lot of translucent colors, but I was looking for a coral color for something. And look how pretty that is. So this is Montana Cans Frosted um, Glass Effect Spray Paint, semi-transparent. Uh, and I thought that was real pretty. Now this is like five coats. So, so with this, you have to put like five or six coats on to get it to be this color, and this is one coat. And the other thing that it's good for is color. And this is, well, that's the Krylon, but like I said, I had to put so many coats on to get it to be that color. And then the other thing that you can spray with the uh, different spray paints, the glass would be the fire glass. So that's fire glass sprayed with the Krylon, but you could do it with the Tamaya spray paint also. And this is the Ashland Decorative Filler. I just have it in another container. It comes in a container with a top like this. For the most part, some of them come in bags. So the other thing, this Ashland Decorative Filler is a reflective glass. Part of it has like a little mirror on it. It's hard to show you. It's kind of a mirror effect. 
And when you spray this with spray paint, you would think it would cover up the mirror effect, but it does not. It, uh, when you spray it with spray paint, it still keeps its reflective qualities. Um, so it's that's another good thing about this Ashland decorative filler. So you can change, it does come in a few other colors, but you can change the color with the spray paint and its reflective qualities will still be there. So this is what it looks like after being sprayed with the yellow and purple Tamiya spray paint. You can still see the reflective qualities in it. Very pretty. I'm starting to find out that alcohol ink is not a good alternative for dyeing glass. And I'm going to do another video on that soon. But um, this is your best option. And the other way that you can change the color of clear glass is with the resin. And I did a video on that. And these were the roses where you poured the uh, um, resin on top of it, the colored resin on top of it. And this is a little bit more difficult though because you have to be careful. It'll seep past the edges and um, can make it look not too nice. But um, that was the other alternative. So I really like using the spray paint. I try to find glass that is the color that I want and I have tons of it back here as you can see. But once in a while you need another color. And like I said, the yellow and the red uh, is very difficult to find glass in those colors. And a lot of times you need that color glass for your projects. Anyway, I hope this video helped. <laughs> for those of you who are looking for spray paint to spray glass with. And um, if you have any questions, I'm happy to answer. And um, I love to see what you guys are working on. You can um, message me, you know, right on the, on the site or through my email, which is under my about information. And um, like I said, I love to hear from you. And um, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. It helps the channel. And I hope you guys all have a great day. Thanks for watching.